If you watch the first video, the one titled, What is Beneath the Great Pyramid Will Leave You Speechless, you know how shocking those early claims sounded. Well now, they're no longer just claims. They're backed by data, confirmed by science, and deeper than anyone imagined. For over 4,500 years, the pyramids of Egypt have guarded their secrets in silence. Towering above the Giza Plateau, these monuments have stirred curiosity, wonder, and controversy. But now, using ground-penetrating space radar, scientists have done the unthinkable. They've scanned beneath the surface of the Great Pyramid, and what they've found is not only unprecedented, it's possibly impossible under our current understanding of history. This is not speculation. This is not a theory. This is raw data, processed, modeled, verified, and what it shows that will change the way we see ancient Egypt forever. The method? A sophisticated imaging system called Doppler Tomographic Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, mounted on orbital satellites. Unlike traditional ground penetrating radar, this approach uses electromagnetic pulses from space, bouncing off the Earth's surface and measuring the tiny shifts and echoes in return. But the breakthrough wasn't just in the radar. The team developed a technique to transform these electromagnetic echoes into acoustic vibrational signals, effectively turning light into sound and using that sound to reconstruct three-dimensional maps of what lies underground. It's called photon-phonon conversion, and it's like giving a radar system X-ray hearing. This method is so precise, it can detect one millimeter of displacement from 600 kilometers away. With this technology, researchers turned their attention to Giza, specifically the Osiris shaft, a known vertical shaft located along the causeway that links the Great Pyramid to the Sphinx, previously thought to be 30 meters deep, but when scanned with this new method, they found it plunges deeper than anyone expected, much deeper. In fact, the radar revealed that the Osiris shaft descends through multiple chambers and connects with other unknown vertical wells arranged in parallel rows, eight of them, each with spiral-shaped structures embedded along their walls, each extending hundreds of meters down. At the base of these shafts, the scans detected something extraordinary. Two massive cubic formations, each roughly 80 meters wide, about the length of a Boeing 747. The symmetry, angles, and density measurements suggest these are constructed spaces, not geological formations. And even more incredibly, they sit directly below the Great Pyramid. This isn't just a minor feature. These chambers appear purpose-built positioned as though supporting or connecting to a larger subterranean system beneath the entire plateau. But what about the water table? Conventional GPR fails when signals hit water, and the Giza Plateau is known to contain a brackish aquifer beneath the limestone. So how did they scan through it? The answer lies in vibrational mapping. By processing the polarization of the return signal, horizontal, vertical, and oblique vibration channels, the team could distinguish between dry stone and saturated zones. In one tomogram, a clear collapse in vibrational brightness indicated the transition point from limestone into water. Yet even below this aquatic boundary, acoustic echoes returned, hinting at hollow spaces and possible cavities. At a depth of 1.2 kilometers, a chamber, or void, appears. Rectangular in shape, lined on all sides, suspended in darkness. Its dimensions? Comparable to the Menkaure Pyramid itself. The image is clear, the boundary sharp, the cavity unmistakable. Is it open air? Is it flooded? No one knows yet, but it is not natural. The data shows no typical geological stratification, no mineral gradient. Instead, it appears hollow, with a surrounding shell that is denser than the surrounding bedrock. Scans of the Khafre Pyramid revealed similar anomalies. Massive vertical structures, described as pillars, emerge from the ground below the pyramid and extend up into the body of the pyramid itself. Along one of these pillars, a spiral path can be faintly traced, like a winding staircase or internal ramp. These pillars appear to connect directly into a network of horizontal chambers, stacked in five layers, 
hidden within the pyramid body. This contradicts everything we believed about pyramid construction. No ancient texts mention them, no explorers have accessed them, and yet the radar doesn't lie. Skeptics have pointed out, the scans don't always show the known rooms, like the Grand Gallery or the King's Chamber. Why? The scientists address this head on. Radar detection depends on line orientation, scan angle, material density, and interference. In some slices, familiar chambers do appear, such as the Queen's Chamber and the Big Void. But in others, they are obscured due to signal washout or calibration filtering. Put simply, you see what the scan is tuned to find. When optimized for deeper targets, the surface and mid layers get filtered out. It's not an omission, it's a focus. One of the most provocative revelations is the recurring appearance of spiral structures. These show up as tight coils or helical distortions wrapping around vertical shafts. According to the team, this is not an artifact, it's real geometry. And it suggests a design, spiral staircases, ventilation, transport tunnels, or something far older. The resemblance to ancient texts, like the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, describing spiraling pathways beneath the Sphinx, is impossible to ignore. So what comes next? The team is currently applying for formal excavation permits to drill test cores directly into the anomalies. They've also begun partnerships with Stanford University and other academic bodies to replicate the methods and verify the findings. If approved, these excavations could expose a subterranean world beneath Giza, hidden for thousands of years. Not just tombs, not just architecture, but evidence of a civilization lost to time, or even a different version of human history. We are no longer speculating about what might lie beneath the sands of Giza. We have measured it, mapped it, modeled it. And though questions remain, one thing is clear. The Great Pyramid is not alone. It is part of something much larger, much deeper, and far more complex than we ever imagined. The past isn't gone, it's waiting beneath our feet. We are standing at the edge of something monumental, not just an archeological breakthrough, not just a scientific marvel, but a moment that could redefine our understanding of the ancient world and our place in it. For generations, the Great Pyramid has been seen as a finished story, a solved mystery. But now with every scan, with every layer peeled back beneath the sand, the story is rewriting itself, and this is just the beginning. If this resonated with you, if you felt the spark of curiosity, the wonder, the what if, then join us. Subscribe to stay on top of every update, because more is coming. Share this video not just because it's exciting, but because it matters. Like if this challenged what you thought was true. And most importantly, drop your thoughts below. What do you think is beneath the Giza Plateau? A hidden chamber? A forgotten civilization? Or something we can't yet explain? We want to hear from you. The seekers, the skeptics, the explorers of truth. Because history isn't finished. It's just been waiting to be rediscovered. Let's uncover it together.